Hello everyone, Farmer Jeff here, just kidding. Uh, welcome back to Farming Sim 22 once again. We're going to continue our little farm that uh, we created last time. Well, we had help from the formal pickle and King May uh, to build this beautiful place. And I did add some trees. And as you can see, it is October, it is fall. Um, we are going to today prepare for winter because it is definitely coming. Um, Having a look out here, I have done a lot of work here on the farm. I did about five hours of work on this farm on my Twitch channel. Uh, that was last week, and that was a, uh, a good time. So uh, we have already harvested all the sorghum. The sorghum is in that bin that the auger is now uh, in front of there. I'm probably going to move that auger before too long. Um, but this bin here is empty. I don't have anything in there. I did harvest all of the... Uh, soybean that was over here. Now, this is going to become a cornfield, uh, but we are going to plant barley into this one here. And the reason for that is because we only have one day, and that is today, to get this in the ground before uh, it's all said and done because it's the last day we can actually plant it before winter comes. So, on top of that, I wanted to go over a couple things about the game. Um, I have some mods in here and stuff, uh, but I've got to say, I'm really enjoying the game, number one. Number two, multiplayer issues seem to have been fixed now. I couldn't record over the last couple days because of the multiplayer issues, but it seems like it's fixed for the most part now. Um, on top of that, I did want to talk about using DLSS in your graphics options. Uh, make sure that you are running like DLAA. I'm running DLAA. Uh, it's better looking than TAA. The TAA gives me the, uh, the, the stutters like you wouldn't believe. Uh, and the problem with DLSS is that Especially at night, it's very shifty. The sky looks very, very strange. Um, but DLSS is the best that I have found so far that I personally enjoy. And I think the game looks pretty darn good as uh, as is. Another thing is we're going to be using new controls today. So I'm going to be using my wheel cam, uh, joystick, you name it, uh, here for all of our equipment. And make sure if you are using a wheel to go into the options and turn your dead zones to 0%. By default, they're all at 14% for whatever reason. Just keep that in mind. So here we are on the farm. Check it out. Got the Cummins uh, swapped F-150. Actually, I've, a bunch of people on the stream said that the, uh, the truck actually came in that option. So it sounds really cool, too. We'll check that out in a second. Got to undo the straps here from... The market, we got our seeds here. We need to put those into the planter right here. And that is going to be the barley. So let's get started on all of that. I will fire this thing up just so you can listen to it. And I'll show you now we have our wheel cam set up here. And track IR, that's how I'm looking around freely. Inside vehicles, if you're wondering, that is how you do it. And then outside view here, you hear how awesome that thing sounds. Not bad at all. Oh, yeah, that's pretty darn slick. That is slick stuff. All right, I'm going to come over here. That's probably good for right now. Uh, and we're going to get out of the truck, and we're going to get into our tractor here. We actually need to back up to it and then open the top. That's what we're going to do. So let's fire this thing up. There we go. Put it into reverse. And I'll show you towards a, a little later on. Uh, the joystick setup I have in here is to uh, drive the harvester. The harvesters are actually driven by, you, you drive them by a joystick instead of a, you know, pedal setup that you would normally think you would use. Um, you don't have to worry about that. Another thing about this game that's fantastic is now the addition of having weight to everything. Everything has its own weight, uh, and you will see that that is definitely the case. So we got a 1,500 uh, pound weight on the, the front of this thing. This is my big case tractor that I ended up purchasing. You can see we only have $71,000, uh, so not a lot. We need to get these crops in the ground. I did make a little bit of money off the soybean, but not as much as you would think. So there we go. That's pretty good right there. And look at that. It automatically opens up, and now we can fill it up. There we go. We're filling it up, and you can see <laughs> that pallet is just about off. There it goes right there. And we're all good to go. We should be at least. I'm going to go ahead and strap this one down here just uh, just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And we're going to go move this thing out of the way for the most part. There we go. And uh, we are in gear. We are going to just go drive over here and park it out of the way for now. We could park it up here next to our house. I do have a dog now. 
haven't named it yet, but we do have a dog, so that'll be fun. You can see I added a shed here, and uh, that is the Chevy truck, 3500 HD. Very cool looking truck. It's a mod, of course. Uh, over here is our dog. We probably need to fill the bowl up. Yes, we do. It's not letting me fill it up, so I don't know where my dog is. It's somewhere around here, trust me. It likes to play out in traffic a lot on that road. Okay, we're in drive. Get our lights on, just, you know, why not? And we are going to start rolling out to our field that we are going to plant on. I've got to say, using track IR and using a wheel has just really been a game changer when it comes to this. Um, it really has, and I really enjoy it. A lot of you said that that would be the case, and you are correct. That is exactly how I feel about it. Now, with this field, remember we had that sorghum. That sorghum, when we cut it, it was really high on the stalk still when we were done. So to get a better yield out of this field, we ended up going through with the mulcher. Uh, the formal pickle helped me with that on stream. Did the mulcher, and then I ran the cultivator under it. The only thing we haven't done to this field is rock picking. And the reason for that is because I'm just out of time. I need to get this in the ground as soon as possible and no messing around that's for certain we do have barley indeed we have 55 percent of that uh, loaded we could always load another thing if we have to i'm not sure we're going to use all that seed but maybe we will uh, but we do have barley selected so that's good now uh when i get lined up here you'll see i can use my joystick to go from the back little pieces there uh to the front so pretty cool how i can do that so i press down on this right here and look at that she goes right to the ground I'm gonna go forward a little bit here before we start seeding into that field right there. We don't need to do that. So this actually looks pretty good right here on this line, I think. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And we are ready to start seeding this field. So let's start and we'll see what our lines are like here. Okay, that looks pretty lined up there. So I learned something with this seeder that uh, is different from other ones. You have two power buttons on this particular one. We have to go to the back one back here turn it on then we have to go to the one in front of it the second part of it and turn that on now we can go back to the back part and drop it down to the ground Oop, nope the one there drop it down to the ground and now we should be in good hands all right this looks like a pretty good row here so let's go ahead and start seeding this field and hopefully she's doing what she should be doing we can see the seed going down so we know that it is it's actually working so that's good there we go awesome fantastic it took me a while to learn that one I, I i had a cedar before i was using and it needed an attachment in the front nothing's simple in this game that i have learned so far especially if you're new to it um and they don't really teach you anything they just they don't they just kind of throw you to the wolves uh when it comes to learning so the only way I can really learn is by, you know, asking people for the most part. <laughs> but keep that in mind. If you're you're new to this and you're trying to seed into the ground and it's not working, make sure it doesn't have two attachments that need to be turned on because that was my case. All right, go ahead and bring this thing up in the air and turn it on around. And we are in business now. Now we can see our actual lines and I know where I'm supposed to be here. You can see my tracks from the other day when I tried the other seeder and I couldn't get it to work. <laughs> That's what those are right there. Okay, but now we know where we can line up and drop it on down. Yep, there we go. And let's go to work. Let's see if this is uh, okay out here. Yeah, that's perfectly lined up. I'm liking that a lot. Yeah, just keep my little nose right here on that. So this is gonna be a while. I'm gonna be going back and forth and then uh, I'll check back in with y'all. I'm learning my reference points by that little uh, line on the inside of the the tire there and I'm lining that up with that and that seems to be doing a pretty darn good job by the way I know I can use ridge markers if I wanted to but it's pretty easy to tell the difference between you know something that's uh, seeded and cultivated so that's not a big deal for me at all so anywho happy Wednesday to all of you I can't believe it's already Wednesday this week has absolutely flown by which is crazy um, also wanted to say a big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring uh, these videos during the holidays with the TSPC Racer and my whole wheel setup that I have here. If you want to know what I'm using, it's all linked in the description below. I will be upgrading my equipment here soon enough, but I'm going to hang on to the wheelbase. I got this wheelbase in 2016 and it is fantastic, the, P the TSPC Racer. Uh, TLCM pedals 
that I got back there. I'm using the side stick here, the TCA side stick uh, for the joystick that I have some things. Oop, there's a car coming. Uh, I have some things mapped too. I'm going to go like this and then we'll throw it into reverse here as well. And then the shifter is a TH8A shifter by Thrustmaster. So a big thanks to them for sponsoring my videos during the holidays. Very cool uh, to always, you know, to have a sponsor that, uh, you know, I already own. I already own this stuff and I owned it whenever they approached me to do it. So um, have a really good relationship with them and happy to have them on board for the holiday seasons. I, uh, you know, I, I just love the products I have for a very, very long time. And uh, the TSPC Racer is a fantastic base for me. Um, I know there's other things out there on the market, direct drive and all that stuff. Um, I haven't had a need to jump over to it yet, though. And I'm sure I don't know what I'm missing. I'm sure that's the case. But for now, I'm happy. Now, another thing that I have turned off in the options is the weeds. And I requested that to be the case for the online experience. And the reason for that is because with weeds, you have to go over it over and over again. And it's it's like you can't just, you know, take care of the weeds one way. You have to, uh, you know, kind of remove them. And then you have to use fertilizer to get rid of the rest of them. It's just kind of a pain in the butt the way they have them set up right now. I'm not a huge fan of it. So uh, that is the reason why I have weeds turned off now. Rocks, they don't bother me so much. I know that, you know, I know the reason why I'm not going to have a perfect yield and all that stuff. But uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I just didn't want to sit here and uh, pick rocks for a video. <laughs> um, and on the other side of that coin, you know, it's just, uh, it's kind of a, uh, yeah, kind of out of options now. I mean, I have it on real time right now, so I do have like a lot of time to spend on this field, but in the grand scheme of things, do I really want to sit here for, you know, hours and hours picking rocks? Not really. All right. Lift that thing on up in the air and down there off our nose. You can see that's uh pickle in uh, King May's farm down there. They're going to be farming grapes so they got a whole vineyard set up back there it's gonna be on that whole hill there but off our nose right there those are all the greenhouses they have going on and there's uh they're gonna be doing strawberries in those so i do plan to do greenhouses what i'm gonna do is uh that field that's back there where i'm gonna start my corn field i'm gonna use a section of that for greenhouses uh and then i'll put corn up next to it for the most part and i think that will be just fine all right line up right here there we go. We're getting close. We're about halfway done. Not too bad. Oop, drop that down. There you go. Make sure it's turned on. And it is. And back to it. Watch out, little crow. I'm going to run you over. I'm going to run. There you go. Fly, fly, fly away. Man, crows and ravens both are really, really neat animals or creatures, whatever you want to call them. Birds. Um, but they, uh, they talk kind of like humans. I don't know if you ever looked that up. But... Nicole was showing that to me the other day, and it was pretty insane. They uh, they mimic kind of like a parrot, but they are their vocalization is just way more, I don't know, humanish. Strange. You should look that up. You don't know what I'm talking about. So I do have a lot of work to do still. I need to you know put everything in the barn. I need to put my harvester away. Uh, this field here needs to be cultivated before that snow comes. I would like to do that. I'm probably gonna do that on a stream. So if you want to follow along. On my live streams you are more than welcome it's over there on twitch.tv slash j fabiano if you want to check it out you surely can we'll be farming over there this week and uh probably finishing up that actually it'll probably be the first days of winter when i get to that because this is the kind of last day i can do what i want to do before winter officially hits but i'm not sure when the snow's coming all right this is the last row on this side and then uh we're going to start curling in towards the fence line there. But this will be the last pass here for most of that field. So that's all said and done, which is fantastic. So not too much longer. This field is deceptively small. Now, I have this one and then my other field. Uh, I do want to buy field 10 over there. And uh, that will be pretty much everything. So I'm going to do a little pass here all the way down to the edge and then we're going to drive out and around and get set up for the fence line this might be a little more tricky than i think it is but eh, maybe it won't be so bad I'm just gonna go around the edge here and then we'll work from there but i think this is doing exactly what i want it to do we'll find out when we come back around won't we but i think my line has been pretty decent by doing what i have been doing here 
Have to get those tires right up next to that fence line. There you go. Just like that. I think that's seating pretty good. Yep, that's good. That's perfect. See it back there. Just have to get those tires as close as we can to the fence. That's the thing about operating these huge tractors, man. It's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm never going to make that one. Nope. Not going to make that one. Back it up a little bit here. Oh, don't get stuck. There we go. Back to this side. I think we'll be okay there. We'll see what our line looks like, but it's probably going to be kind of screwy. <laughs> no, it looks like we did it. Okay, cool. It's pretty forgiving. And right up next to this fence line here. Because I know that that marker there is just a safe zone. I know I can go to that second line on that fender, but the first one is just my safe zone. So I know I'm getting the maximum that I need to. So there we go. That was pretty, pretty easy there. And that's the reason why I don't mind, uh, you know, destroying this field here. You can see all my turnaround spots. Uh, that's just because of that reason. I'm just like, who cares, right? We're going to be cultivating that anyway, so I can destroy it all I want. All right, so now we're in a good spot here. Drop it back down, and uh, we'll finish the rest of this. Okay, we have this final section right here left to do, and that's pretty much it, so we'll go ahead and drop it down. Now, it won't seed uh, into the ground if it already has some, so you'll see the it won't change until we're actually planting the amount of seed going down there. So one more pass and we'll be done here. This little triangle right here is all we have left. And that should be that. Let's go ahead and turn that off and look back there. Yep, that's good to go. We have completed the whole field. So now this thing is planted for the barley so we can get into cultivating this field next. And that's what I'm probably going to do on stream i'm not sure but let's start moving some stuff in uh to the barn and especially this cedar and stuff like that so we'll shut this off shut this one off there we go it's been a good cedar we need to clean it up too for you know because winter time so i'm going to back it into the power washer area where that other tractor is actually i'll just kind of back it up next to it not a big deal because it's got a pretty long hose on it believe it or not yep right there and we'll back up right here oh uh, there's good all right that's perfect all right grab that thing right there and yeah look at all the dirt right there we just go and hose it on down not a big deal but we want it to look nice and pretty for you know putting it in the shed pressure washers hose restricts yeah i know we can't go away too far from it you can see how the power washer actually works this time around it takes a lot more power washing than before uh at least that i know of because we were using so many mods in the last game um but it looks like you can kind of just hose it down in all these different spots here and it's for the most part pretty darn good wash 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 and we can wash that as well it did a good job today didn't it yes it did so that looks nice and pretty clean for the most part Keep working on a little bit longer. There we go. Nice and clean. I'm happy with it for now. So let's put it back where it was. And now we can put this stuff away. So open up that. And you can see where our header is there. I'm going to put the other one in here as well. Um, I probably need to buy another trailer for the other header, honestly. Yeah, probably going to do that. And then we can put them both in there. I think that might be the better idea. Uh, when it comes to putting equipment away because I have to come over here and close this door. The only thing I don't like about this barn is that you can only open one door at a time. It doesn't let you, you know, freely put them where you want. So, yeah, I think I might put the other one right in here. And then our tractors go in the middle. But, yeah, I'm going to have to get another trailer for sure. So, we'll have to run to the store to do that. And then the auger needs to be put away as well for winter. So, we have a lot more to do here. All right, back it on up like this. And I'm going to put it right in here. Make sure we have enough room for our tires to make it, you know. There we go. Kind of like right in here will be perfectly fine for me. And there we go. Snug in there just like that. That'll work. I'll just keep that uh, tractor right there, actually. So let's go ahead and get the other one where we need to. Put this, close those back up. And then we'll come over here and open this one up. Yeah, we're going to put the other tractor in here. And we have some room still. But like I said, I want to put that header there. 
Um, all right, cool. So let's go ahead and do that next. Uh, I think that thing right there, we're going to put that over there next to the other trailer. Okay, let's take this auger down. We don't need it in the way any longer. We're just going to use our little Massey Ferguson for this. Back it on up to this guy. The other way would have been perfectly fine. There we go. Okay, so these augers are kind of broken. I cannot bring it down. It brings up the legs, but the auger itself does not go down. So I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with this thing. I'm probably going to just reset it back to the store, and then I can bring it back. That's probably the only way. It's just got a mind of its own right now. All right, so yeah, I reset my auger back here and you can see that's the way it's supposed to be it's all folded down like that and it just wasn't doing that it was just like staying in the position that i had it in before so not sure what that's about but here's the header trailer we're going to take back to the farm and we'll go from there man it really is cool to see the seasons change in the game uh fluidly like this and another thing that uh, they did add is more growth stages for the actual crops so it takes longer for crops to grow than it did previously. You see there, that's the old default farm all run down. Nobody lives there. Nobody works there. <laughs> and that corn was back there just dead. I made it back to the farm here. We're just going to swing wide and bring this trailer on in here. So we're going to put that header on there. And I'll show you how the harvester drives with the joystick, which is really, really cool as well. I'm thinking about just probably getting rid of the auger. Uh as a whole i'm probably going to upgrade the system eventually because the augers are a pain in the butt but <laughs> but but get it <laughs> uh let's pull this up right about there's perfect awesome uh but yeah i think we're just gonna get rid of it and then i'll uh, get it if i need it again walk over here to our case and here she is look at this start the engine comes to life here and then this is what i'm talking about we have the joystick here uh, to drive this thing, which is really, really, really cool. Um, what I normally do is turn off the thing that uh, allows... So if I pull back, it'll go in reverse. We're not going to worry about that today. We're just going to use this um, to line up. So oh, no brakes. That's the brakes right there. So just like the real one there, you can see it actually moving too, which is pretty neat how they have that all set up. A little bit further forward here. Looking good. Actually, that's pretty lined up right there. A little bit further forward. That's pretty good. Drop it on in. And that was not good. Oh, it was. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, it did its auto thing. What are you doing now, hmm? I don't know. Okay, we're good. That was it was all good. It was just a little janky. That's all. No big deal. No harm, no foul. I wonder if I have enough room to maneuver around this. I think I do. Yeah. This shouldn't be bad. Because we're gonna put this thing right in there. And that will probably be for the best, honestly. Because we don't need this until the next harvesting season. But right in, right in there is going to be perfect. There we go. We'll get this nice and cleaned up for winter. And already starting to knock all that dirt away just like that. Not a problem for us at all. I do love the look of the cases. You can see there the pressure washers hose is restricted. Yeah, I know. do love the look of them. The red very nice there we go i'd say that's good to go all right so now she's all clean a little bit further there that's perfect right there perfect okay a little bit of america truck sim style here we are going to back this header into the barn that's what we're gonna do we'll be okay just like that it's just a long trailer is all nothing too crazy you know there we go put it on reverse and it turns pretty fast actually Oh, wait, never mind. It's one of those kind of trailers. You have to make it go the opposite way that you would think you want it to go, like that. And then you get behind it. But not the easiest one in the world to use. Reminds me of the dollies at the airport, honestly. Now I can kind of go back with it here. It's actually kind of easier in the outside view, to be perfectly honest with you. There you go. Oop. Got away from me there a little bit. There we go back this way well this is taking way too long let me tell you something here this is kind of ridiculously uh slow of a as far as the process goes of backing this in on one of these dollies but man you have to keep going forward and back forward and back to get it straight again once we get it straight we'll be good but man it's just not wanting to do that i'm gonna move this one all the way back as well so we have room for the doors to close all right that should be good on those doors right there go and close it on up 
Yeah, it'll move it right over out of the way. Perfect. Okay, well, those are in now. Jeez, that took forever. Now, what I'm going to do with this wagon is sell it because I did not want the one that has the little articulated front on it. I want the other one. Uh, so we'll be getting rid of that before winter comes. But as you can see, everything's pretty darn close. Uh, I need to put some of that seed in side as well inside the barn but we need a forklift for that uh, i'm leasing one right now but i don't want to bring it all the way out here to the farm i don't think i really need it uh for the most part so we'll probably end up just kind of knocking it off if we can um but everything else is looking pretty darn good that's gonna sit right here for the winter like i said i'm gonna cultivate this on stream and then we're gonna start the uh the winter process now once winter comes i'm gonna finish mowing my grass as well i started mowing grass as you can see here uh, on stream but i will continue to uh, mow my grass before the winter hits completely and then when snow hits we're gonna be plowing and doing all that stuff so that'll be a lot of fun for sure but that's where we sit right now and uh i am pretty happy with the farm as it stands and we can see right here we got fertilizer uh, barley growing perfect all good to go is the dog back did they ever come back i don't think they did do we and it's not letting me it's like if the dog died because it's not letting me do anything with anything so i don't know what that's about doggy you around here i saw you the other day and now you are no longer there and i've been feeding you every single day so i don't know what that's all about i'll wait and see if it comes uh sometimes if you're you're right the, nearby the the dog house it'll come out but yeah that's okay but you can see things are changing pretty fast here on the farm but I am enjoying it nonetheless. Folks, that's going to do it for this episode of Farming Sim. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. If you have any pointers, anything like that, you can leave those in the comments as well. I am learning. I don't know everything about farming. That is for certain. Um, but for the most part, yeah, we're going to get rid of bats. And uh, and we're, we're pretty much ready to go for winter. The truck can sit outside. I might bring it in if there's room, um, but maybe not. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. If you're looking for merch, be sure to check out the links in the description or click on the one here that you see on the screen. Are you not happy with your current soap products? Star Symphony makes handmade soap with all natural ingredients. They even send the recipe so you can make it yourself at home. Star Symphony now with a limited run of the Galaxy collab that I helped with. You can get soap, the beard oil that I use, or whipped body oil. Thank you all for the love and support. I do appreciate it.